On moving to other global news, Hurricane Milton exploded in strength to become a potentially catastrophic Category 5 storm bound for Florida. It is threatening the U.S. state with the second ferocious hurricane in as many weeks. Milton, which is forecast to batter Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula as it turns eastward, rapidly intensified to the highest category on a scale of five, triggering evacuation orders and warnings of savage conditions on Florida's west coast. Officials are warning that the rapidly approaching Hurricane Milton presents a multi-hazard event that will bring storm surges, flooding and power outages. Uh, Milton has uh, undergone a, a rapid intensification period uh, all day today and is unfortunately now a Category 5 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson scale. So let's look at the current statistics. Um, maximum wind speeds of 180 miles per hour, pressure down to 905 millibars, uh, movement to the east at, at 10. And you know, the, the question everybody wants to know is, is where will Milton go and what sort of impacts it will bring. Generally going to move continue moving to the east overnight tonight and then gradually turn towards the northeast uh, on the day on Tuesday and approach the Florida Peninsula on Wednesday. Here you can see just offshore the Florida Peninsula 1 p.m. Wednesday with max winds of 145 miles per hour. Communities hit by Hurricane Helene, which slammed Florida late last month, raced to remove debris that could become dangerous projectiles as Milton barrels in. Residents on the low-lying island have been piling up debris from Helene's flooding in their front yards for removal. <laughs> I prepared for Hurricane Milton by disconnecting cables, preparing my important documents in a waterproof portfolio. I will close my windows. I already bought food and water in case there is scarcity. I also bought some candles in case power takes a while to come back. The White House said that President Joe Biden was being regularly briefed on Hurricane Milton and that he has mobilized extra resources and personnel to prepare for its impact. Meanwhile, U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris asked the population of Florida to heed evacuation warnings as Hurricane Milton rapidly intensified. Traffic was backed up on Florida highways as residents living in the Tampa area attempted to evacuate as a Category 5 hurricane approached. Florida authorities have issued mandatory evacuations orders for areas including some parts of Tampa, a metropolitan area of more than 3 million people that could take a direct hit. If the storm stays on the current track, it will be worst storm to impact the Tampa area in over 100 years. This is what the National Weather Service has said. Governor Ron DeSantis has declared 51 of Florida's 67 counties under a state of emergency.